Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, this is my second time recording this because <laughs> I think in the first take I got uh, I got judgmental <laughs> and I didn't want to be judgmental because um, again I don't know who's who's taking this to heart and who's not. Um, but I will I will reiterate from the take that you do not see. Uh, I showered specifically to make this video, which should tell you how important it is, so that I can get on camera for you people and tell you what's going on with the interim results of the Hero Rises 2021. Um, I will I will start out and say that uh, you should always vote for who you want, but this is, a, this is a decision that affects the community at large because they're getting something from it. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, don't you try and cancel me comment section, in my opinion, you should always be voting for something that contributes to the community at large. All right, that is my view. So you need to put your merge needs aside. You need to put your fodder needs aside. You need to think about what unit in the game would benefit the player base as a whole and also yourself in the same time. That is personally how I vote. That is how I feel other people should vote. Some people don't do that, and I understand that. But when you get brave units, a normal pool unit in this is problematic. And the same thing kind of happened last year with base Edelgard, um, which honestly, she had no point in, in being in that, like at all. Like literally no point at all. At least Brave Edelgard is good, you know? I feel like she's gonna hold up for a little while. Um, don't, don't vote for brave units. <laughs> They're in the normal pool, guys. You can get them normally. They're on banners, they're on weapon skills banners, they're on hero fest banners, they're, they're around. <laughs> they show up on mythics and legendaries more often than other five star normal heroes. They're around. You don't need a free one right now because you could have got, you did get a free one. You literally got a free Edelgard, Dimitri, or Claude. Or Lysithia, but she's not on the list, so uh, she gets a pass from me this time. You got a free one already, guys. New players can get a free one right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't vote for brave units. In my opinion, that is a waste. That is a waste of voting. Do not do it. I mean, at least if you're going to vote for legendary Edelgard at least, okay, is like harder to find. Which brings me to the point of you should only be voting for special heroes, i.e. seasonals, or mythic and legendary units. Which the majority of the list is. Like, everybody on this list, outside of like four, I want to say. I don't know what Byleth is doing down here. Um, but honestly, 15 to 20 is probably not really at risk of getting into the top eight regardless. So, it is what it is. Uh, but you should definitely, definitely, definitely not be voting for Brave Units right now. In my opinion. I have to keep saying that. Because I feel like I'm sounding really harsh. Um, but I always, I always give a wash to Choose Your Legends. I know that memeing and bandwagoning and, like, popularity, like, that is a huge impact, right? Because it's stuff that's not in the game yet that could be. And so I think you should vote in that manner. If there's a character you don't have in the game, like Stefan, for example, who I voted for, and you want them in the game, you should vote for them. That's what you should do. This is different, okay? These are units in the game that you could get for free. Why are you voting for another free copy of something that you may have already gotten? That you definitely could have already gotten. <laughs> Other than you didn't choose Edelgard and now you want to rectify that decision. I don't understand. <laughs> don't get it. Think of PM1, okay? Phoenix Master's out here doing the work of Saros and making uh, free-to-play guides for everybody to make maps more accessible and rewards easier to get. Okay? Think of PM1, all right? Don't be savages. Give that man, uh, gi give him a, give it, give him a hand already for crying out loud. <laughs> Think of him. Now, I am, I am very happy that Saros and Lunar are up here. Um, Saros is probably going to be my next vote. Uh, I have, I have started off voting for Ninja Lin and um, Winter Altina, which we're going to talk about that in just a second, but. Uh, <laughs> I think those two units are probably out the box, the most bang for buck, easy to use, hit the field and win type units. So I voted for those first because I feel like at large those benefit the community as a whole. 
Um, and, you know, they're seasonals. They get rerun maybe twice a year if they're on their recurring seasonal banner and they hit a double special streak. Um, that's it. That's all you get. They're not in the normal pool. Uh, I think Mythics and Legendaries are bound to show up at least three times, maybe even four during a year. So I feel like special heroes there are really, really good, like Ninja Lin. Those are probably the rarest of the rare. Um, outside of stuff like Duo Ephraim, who is a normal duo hero, who I think just exists to be on Hero Fest banners at this point. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. You know, not that important. Um, I don't know why you guys are voting for Braves. I don't know why. And when I say you guys, I I will address what, what I think is the, the ultimate problem uh, with this voting event in particular. Um, Byleth. Don't vote for Byleth. There's easier ways to get Ruptured Sky, okay? Quit it. Like, female Byleth, I think, is on a banner literally right now. Like, literally right now. <laughs> stop this. You stop that. Voting for Byleth Tested Professor right now is not going to get you Legendary Byleth in the game, okay? That's not how this works. <laughs> it's not how, not how this works. It's not how this works. Uh, I also want to address real quick, someone in my live stream last night was telling me that people are trying to get Grail units in the game, and I'm like... What? Why are you voting for Grail units in a Hero Rises? And the answer I was given is, well, maybe if we get Grail units in a Hero Rises high enough, they'll do a Grails banner to summon on. Fam, they're in the Grail pool. You don't need to summon for them, they're already there. <laughs> you get them with Grails, guys. <laughs> what are you doing? I have to assume that I was just getting, like, yeah, there was trolling happening. I, will, I refuse to accept that this is, like, a rationalized thought. Although, after the last several years... Anything is possible, I guess, at this point. Don't vote for Grail units. Don't vote for normal normal pool units. Don't do that, okay? I'm not out here telling you try to, how to vote, but don't do that, <laughs> all right? I'm not telling you how to vote, but I also kind of am a little bit. Listen to me. Uh, and again, that's because these guys, you can get one for free. You could get a free Saros. You don't have to go through the torment I did, where you basically make a, a huge donation to... <laughs> the Church of Saros in order to get 11 Saros copies to plus 10. You you could just get one. I had 19 Dimitris by the end of this, by the way. And I think I got pity broken by another one at the very end when I was just trying to, like, reset my rate. Yeah, you don't have to go through that. You could just get one right now. Vote free. If you vote properly, and she wins the voting gauntlet, of course. But uh, the ultimate goal in this is to make the banner the best possible banner that it can be. And so wouldn't it be great if it was just a mix of these special units that don't get a lot of rerun and these mythic and legendary units that take months to come back. And it's a really good banner and you can spark on it. Isn't that something interesting? Don't vote for brave units, guys. They get enough rerun. They pop back up on legends and mythics more often than any other five star units. All right. Normal five star units. They get on skills banners. They will be on Hero Fest banners at some point. Don't do that. Don't waste votes like that. Um, I am genuinely surprised that Bride Micaiah is as low as she is. Uh, she and Linja are probably the two best colorless units in the game. Maybe next to Bramulon. Legitimately. Like, legitimately. Uh, Altina, I'm going to tell you guys right now. This is Altina. This is where she's located. You don't want that Altina. I'm pretty sure the majority of you were... Maybe, uh, tricked <laughs> into voting. See, halfway down the page, here's, here's, here's Duo Harmonized? Harmonized Altina. This is, this is the reindeer one that you probably want to vote for. Um, and admittedly, it took me a while to find her as well. I had to use the name search when I first went to vote for her. Um, but they put the base mythic Altina first at the top of the list. We have, uh... <laughs> What was it? Hero Rises 2019? 2019 all over again? Um, 
Yeah, but it's too late. It's it's too late for Reindeer Altina. She's not <laughs> she's not even in the top twenty for God's sake. Um, but I think that was a big flub. So currently our red pool not looking so great. <laughs> Like, there's not even a red unit in the top eight at this point, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but I guess Summer Byleth is there. Not as good as Winter Altina, but she's there. There's only... Oh, God. Why are we, why are we voting Byleth? Please stop voting for Byleth. <laughs> it's not going to get you Legendary Byleth. Quit it. Um, so that's what I think kind of happened with that. And then the other thing I'll touch on is you. This this is for players, right? This event specifically is for players. Um, it's not necessarily like Choose Your Legends, where um, non fade players and just Fire Emblem enthusiasts alike that have a Nintendo account can log in, try and get a character they really like in the game, and maybe it will convert them to go play Heroes. Um, it's possible. I don't know. This is just units that are in the game now that would benefit the current ba player base. Um, and I mean, depending on how long they're available... Altina last year was a limited time run. Um, the future player base as well. So, the, the, the hitch is you don't need a Fey account to vote in this. <laughs> so you have non Fey players coming in and voting for characters that they don't have any concept of how they function in the game. So, for example, if I'm just a Fire Emblem fan and I really like Edelgard. I don't know the difference between Brave and Legendary Aelgard. I'm just going to vote for whichever picture I like the best. Same with Dimitri, which I'm assuming is why Legend <laughs> Legendary Dimitri is not up here. Um, or Legendary Dimitri is uh, is up there, but Brave Dimitri is not. Actually, his Legendary Brave Dimitri's art is a lot better. Alright, that doesn't make any sense. But either way, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe people realize that Legendary Dimitri is really good, and he would be nice, but... Those other fans are like, ooh, but this art is better, so maybe uh, maybe, maybe we just vote for this, Dimitri, because I like the look of this one better. I don't know. I don't know if... I'm not out here trying to gatekeep. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm not out here trying to be a gatekeeper. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, keeping people from playing the game, that's not the intention. What I am saying is, you're going to have... Kind of, I don't want to say uninformed votes with this because let's be honest choose your legends is much more of a popularity contest okay this actually has i get more fired up about this because this can actually benefit the player base as a whole uh rather than a potential banner that you could either skip or just you know get a bunch of orbs from and then not spend or you could you know get the character that you want it benefits everybody this this you want a good outcome for everybody okay because like if they uh, let's 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 say let's say Merlinus cracked into the top ten, and let's just say he won the voting guy. Everybody got a free Merlinus. That doesn't benefit literally anybody, like literally anybody. <laughs> but it's the will of the people, I guess. But non-players are voting. Maybe you have a bunch of like Merlinus stands. I don't know, man. I don't necessarily know if that's what's skewing stuff or what's causing the confusion because like there's there is a clear difference between legendary Dimitri and brave Dimitri right like one is definitely better than the other so why are people still voting for one I don't know <laughs> I couldn't tell you so um, yeah it's a little problematic and again, I'm not telling you that, you know, not everybody should be allowed to vote. That's not what I'm here to say. Uh, I'm saying that maybe popularity is intervening with Three Houses again for A Hero Rises, kind of like it did with base uh, Edelgard last year. And so the difference when last year was there weren't as many Three Houses units when this banner or this, uh, this event popped up. But here we are. There's a lot... Uh, and there's a lot of confusion between the different units themselves. So, I don't know what the ultimate answer is. Um, like I said, we don't have... We have one unit, one red, one red unit in the top ten. <laughs> I don't know how the banner is getting formulated, whether it's the semifinals of the voting gauntlet or just the top four results of the voting in general uh, for Hero Rises. I don't know how that banner is getting put together. I don't know if they specified and I missed it. 
it's whatever. Um, but I think ultimately the goal we should be focusing on right now as a player base, let's make sure that we get a good banner together because we may not be able to determine the outcome of the winner in the free unit. But if the banner itself is good enough and we want to pull on it, we can spark and get a unit that we might have wanted within the top four regardless. So that should be what you're thinking about moving forward. Um, I, I am flabbergasted flabbergasted that Micaiah is not higher <laughs> than that. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Was that helpful? I don't know if that was helpful. I was just kind of ranting and yeah. <laughs> I wasn't as critical this time around though, so pat on the back for me. Um, that's all I got for this video. If you guys uh, have any comments about Hero Rises, I think we're on day three currently. Uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I always wait to see what the interim is. Uh, I always vote for the sure things first, and then I look at the interim and say, okay, who do we need to bump up? Currently, I'm thinking we need to bump up Micaiah, but then again, like there's no hope of getting a red unit in here outside of Summer Byleth at this point. <laughs> Winter Altine, the dream is dead. Sorry that you guys won't be able to use her. She's absolutely nuts. Uh, but maybe Linja. Linja might be good. Saros is also a very good option. Top two, I'm very confident in right now. Uh, others, maybe not so much. <laughs> I think I think this could be diversified a little bit. The th three through eight that could be diversified just a smidgen. Um, but overall, it's it's not bad. I know I, I laid into like the normal pool stuff, uh, but overall, I don't I don't think it's that bad. Um, I just don't know why we're voting for Brave Lagarde. That blows my mind a little bit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's all I got for now. So, uh, we're live streaming tomorrow, probably, Friday, right? We have a summon session? I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. And uh, until then, I will catch you next time.